everyone. Today we'll be looking at two options on how to block ads on your Android phone. In this video I'll be particularly covering DNS66 on how to install and use that software. The other option is Wakata. It is very similar to use. First I'll show you using a testing site for ad blocking to see how we can see the ads on the web page. These ads can be very annoying in our day-to-day -day browsing and can be interfering as well. However, these ads do support the content creators, DNS66 F-Droid repository, and we'll be downloading that APK file. You can also do that by downloading the F-Droid client, and the benefit of that would be it would allow for easy updates to the application. Once we have DNS66 installed, let's open it up. Here you can see some of the defaults that have been selected. I'm going to select some of the host files that I usually prefer. And going to the app section. Now this section is important. As you can see by default system apps bypass this DNS66 filtering system. So I will uncheck that. Also for DNS servers, I like to use Cloudflare, so you can use your own. Here we have now updated the host files. You can check up the refresh button on the top so that it gets the fresh copy from the servers. We are pretty much good to go at this point. Now we'll go back to our ad blocking testing website to see how the website looks differently now. As you can tell by the green check sign that we have ad blocking enabled. Here's another website showing ad block testing. Usually we would see an ad running here, but this is just a white box showing that our ad blocking is working. These names are always very interesting to uh, read up. Normally there would be ads underneath the name as well. As you can see, we have easily installed DNS66 and blocked most of the advertisements on the website as well as game. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.